my friend, my friend, I am Iron Man. So for Iron Man, I'm just gonna show you a basic outline here. We're gonna be playing power chords. Hope you like them. Two different ways to play. Watch the videos of the different incarnations of the Sabbath groups playing them. They all play them at different places. However, a good power chord is derived from a one, a five, and a one. When we're playing in the key of B, most of these are gonna be down, but we can also do eighth notes up and down at the end of the song. of Black Sabbath rhythmic movements. In the key of B major, we have B major, C sharp minor, D sharp minor, E major, F sharp major, G sharp minor, and then we can have an F sharp seven, which acts as if it's gonna be our A diminished, it's gonna, I'm sorry, our A sharp diminished, and it's gonna go right back in. Or we can even just go right here and play our awesome possum diminished kind of chord into our B. So for our power chords, we've got B, we're gonna go up a minor third to the D, we're gonna go up a major second to the E, and then we're gonna go up a minor third again and go back and forth between the G and the G flat. We're doing three sets of eighth notes. Da, 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 all the way down to the D, and then go up a major second, down with an eighth note. B, D, E, B, D. Does that a couple times? Last time it does uh, five, five. I'm sorry, seven, two, five, seven, six, five. Open four, five, six, seven, five, seven, six, five. Open four. Five. Now here's a couple different ways to go through this process. See how I jump from the B, D, B, B flat, A. Does that over and over again? You can choose to see it in a couple different ways. That E with a G sharp, it's a G sharp diminished. Sabbath is playing five chords, which means no major or minor, which means you're just really having these perfect consonants, which make it really interesting for heavy metal. Some people say heavy metal's boring. I think it's awesome. <laughs> uh, so when we have that damn. goes into that groove we're gonna be playing a one finger on the seventh fret of the a skip a finger skip a fret and then play the uh we're gonna do up here the high e and leave the d string muted by the back fat of that finger down down up 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 down get it going really fast Gonna be going from the E to the D, and then we're gonna be doing a half step. Uh, I'm sorry, G to D. Here's where the solo comes in. That's how the whole song form pretty much goes. You go inside of an A part, a B part, an A part, a B part, does the solo and it comes back out of it on top and leaves us with a little bit more. If you have any questions about this or you want to know what the solo is, yeah, I can tab this out. However, there are a plethora of other videos on there. I have, um, you know, a couple minutes here and there. If you need to know what these notes are, I could tab them out for us if we need as well. However, this was a request by one of my students, and this is the video for it. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, go slow, have fun, and we'll see you next week. Aloha.